Kevin. Arsenal have suffered a new transfer blow with Crystal Palace reportedly no longer in club-to-club -club talks to sign their striker Eddie Nkidia. It's no secret the Gunners are keen to get rid of Nkidia in the summer transfer window, and he has been linked to a number of teams in England and abroad. Palace, Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth, Everton and French side Marseille have all been mentioned as having varying degrees of interest in the 25-year-old. Some outlets claimed Bournemouth were considering Nkidia as a Dominic Solanke replacement before they swiftly signed Eva Nilsson in a club record deal. After Bournemouth announced Eva Nilsson, Nkidia was immediately linked to Forest, while other sources have recently reported Everton won him on loan. Arsenal would prefer an outright sale, but they appear to be running low on options at the moment with Forest seeming to be the only possible destination. That's because Palace are no longer involved in any form of club-to-club -club talks for Nkidia, according to The Athletic, despite claims the Eagles still retain interest. To make matters worse for Arsenal, transfer expert Fabrizio Romano says Forrest are strongly considering Santiago Jimenez as an alternative option to Nkidia. Forrest will only end up signing one striker, and after their first bid for Nkidia was rejected they will continue negotiations for both him and Jimenez. Should Forrest decide to prioritize Jimenez, Arsenal could be left stuck with Nkidia, who has produced just 38 goals in 168 appearances for the Gunners. Nkidia has three years left on his Arsenal contract, and it is believed he wants to secure regular first-team football. He came through the club's famous Hale End Academy, but has never been able to truly cement his place in the Gunners' best 11. Arsenal and England goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale appears set to join Wolverhampton Wanderers as their new first-choice goalkeeper after losing his spot to David Raya. Wolverhampton Wanderers got insight into Aaron Ramsdale's passion when they welcomed Arsenal to Molyneux in 2022 and have now moved for the Gunners goalkeeper. Ramsdale has been the subject of an offer from Gary O'Neill's side after dropping behind David Raya in the pecking order in North London. It would be an initial loan deal with the option to make it permanent in the summer, the same arrangement which allowed Arsenal to sign Raya from Brentford. The Spaniard first joined Arsenal early in the 20232 four season after Ramsdale began the campaign between the sticks. Ramsdale was first choice the previous year, though, and kept a clean sheet against Wolves in November 2022 as Mikel Arteta's side went into the World Cup break atop the table. Martin Odegaard scored both Arsenal goals in a 2-0 victory that day. However, Ramsdale gave teammate Alexander Zinchenko a piece of his mind as the London side looked to keep their advantage. Ramsdale's public behavior followed his animated reaction to a loss at Everton, picked up in the Amazon Prime all-or-nothing documentary about Arsenal. Arteta's men lost late on at Goodison Park during a match in the 2-0-2-1-2-2 season, a result which ended up denting their top four hopes. Arsenal responded to that Everton defeat by winning four on the spin, with Ramsdale conceding just once in that run. However, a late-season defeat at Tottenham ended up costing them fourth spot. Ramsdale's lack of minutes last season didn't stop him claiming a spot in England's Euro 2024 squad, though he was back up to Jordan Pickford in Germany. He was also on the bench on Saturday, as Arsenal beat Wolves at the Emirates Stadium to make a winning start to their season. Raya made a big save to deny Wolves forward Jorgen Strand Larsen, leaving Arteta impressed. Unbelievable. The manager said I think it was the first time they had any attempt. We didn't defend the box well and then David makes an unbelievable save. Zinchenko started at left-back over the weekend, despite Jurian Timber returning from injury and Ricardo Calafiri providing another option after arriving from Bologna. However, the manager insisted it was a game-by-game -game process for his team when it came to deciding the back line. You could see that Alex Zinchenko, especially in the first half, was really good, Arteta added. In the second half, we needed something else and we had the ability to change there. Five Gunners named in PFA Team of the Season, David Raya, William Saliba, Gabriel, Declan Rice, and Martin Odegaard have all been selected for the 2-0-2-3-2-4 PFA Premier League Team of the Year. The five Gunners were included in the annual Best 11, which was selected by their peers' votes based on their superb performances during the past 12 months as we finished the season with 89 points and 28 victories. This is the second year in a row that William and Martin have featured in the PFA side, with David, Gabriel, and Declan all making their debuts. Only the 200304 team, which included six gunners following our Invincibles campaign, 
has had more Arsenal representation. Raya enjoyed a standout debut season at the Emirates Stadium, keeping 16 clean sheets to pick up the Golden Glove Award. The Spaniard made a host of superb saves, and his distribution turned defense into attack at lightning speed. William Saliba and Gabriel continued their rock-solid centre-back pairing which formed in the 2-0-2-2-2-3 campaign. The Frenchman was one of just two outfield players in the Premier League to play every single minute in 2-0-2-3-2-4, popping up with two goals to boot. Brazilian Gabriel was once again in commanding form and was part of a defensive line that conceded just 29 Premier League goals, the lowest of any side in the division. Declan Rice could not have had a better season in the middle of the park. Our number 41 was a rock after joining from West Ham United, playing in all 38 league matches and scoring memorable goals against Manchester United and Luton Town. The England international also added assists to his game, setting up nine goals across the season including five directly from set pieces to help us to back-to-back second-place finishes. Our captain rounds off our inclusion after another sensational campaign. Named as our club player of the season, Odegaard created 10 assists in the league and netted 8 goals in the process. No player in the whole league created more chances than our skipper 88, and that form also saw him nominated for the PFA Players Player of the Year award. Champions Manchester City had four inclusions including Golden Boot winner Erling Holland, Phil Foden, Rodri, and Kyle Walker. Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk makes his fourth appearance in the best starting 11 with Ollie Watkins rounding off the selection after his 19 goals and 13 assists helped Aston Villa qualify for the Champions League. Real Sociedad issue new transfer demand to Arsenal over Mikel Marino deal. Real Sociedad are demanding a fee in excess of €40 million for Mikel Marino having rejected an initial offer from Arsenal. The Gunners are eager to bring in the Spain International this summer to bolster their options in midfield and have had an initial offer of $25 million rejected by the La Liga side. It was reported Real Sociedad were looking for a fee of around $35 million to make the deal happen but Cadena Cope report they want more than $40 million. Marino is in the final year of his contract and the expectation is still that he will join Arsenal this summer. The midfielder's representatives remain optimistic the deal will go through, but he has also not ruled out the possibility of remaining in Spain for another year and seeing out the remainder of his contract. Marino was left of the Real Sociedad squad for Sunday's 2-1 defeat to Real Vallecano, with head coach Imanol Alguacil confirming that decision was due to ongoing talks over the 28-year-old's future. Mikel Marino is not in the squad because I decided so, he told reporters on Saturday. He was ready to help the team. We will see if he will be with us next week or not. There are open negotiations. Real Sociedad president Jokane Parabe later warned his side would not be bullied into negotiating a fee that falls short of their valuation. Marino was clear that he didn't want to say he was renewing his contract and then leave. It wasn't a surprise to us, unfortunately. One of the teams we didn't want to show up showed up. We will talk to Arsenal and defend the interests of La Real. When we consider that the offer is good, we will say yes. We know what Marino's wishes are, so we decided that he should not be called up for the game against Rayo Vallecano on Sunday. While the Spanish side are holding firm, Cope report Marino's future is expected to be resolved in a matter of days.